What's going on guys? We are at the Nismo factory in Yokohama, Japan. I'm getting honked at over here, standing like an idiot in the middle of the road. But we did take the 380RS, the Nismo Fair Lady, up to the Nismo factory. Why not, right? And then parked over here, we got a 370 Nismo. Very nice. And then over here, there's like a car meet. I think people rolled out of Daikoku Fudu. That's where I'm coming from. Whole bunch of R34 GTRs over here. I see an Evo. Looks like a little mini pop-up meet, but we're not here for that. We're here to go inside and check out Nismo. I haven't been here in about three years. Always a good experience, so stay tuned. Let's do it. So let's see what they got on the showroom floor. No way. The Pennzoil R33. You guys remember when I featured this car at the uh, Nissan Global headquarters? They moved it over here to Amori. I'm so glad I get to see this car again. If you guys haven't seen that video, definitely go check it out. I'll, I'll put the link down below, but we're gonna go ahead and refeature it anyways. This car definitely deserves it. Screams Gran Turismo vibes. Man. And then the CalSonic 34. Always a treat. If you're ever in Yokohama, Japan, you have to, have to, have to put this on your list. They're only open Saturday and Sunday, so keep that in mind from 10 to 5. So very limited hours. I love how they got the 33, the 34, and the 35. The 35 GT500 car. I love the tires on this too. Check out the Michelins. <laughs> Old Michelin man. And the GT500 display is still sitting over here. Things to purchase. You can get the uh, old Nismo logo keychain. Very cool. Got some die cast cars. Z33 S tune over there. Very cool. Now, last time I was here, they had the R34 GTR Z tune sitting over here. I don't see it right now. However, they do have the GTR sitting back here getting worked on. So we'll uh, we'll poke our head back there. Pretty cool. Don't know what this is. First time. First time seeing one. So it's a Nissan Aura E Power. All the Nismo bits and pieces. It's got some pretty cool uh, Nismo Recaros on the inside. I mean, for an SUV, it's not bad looking. Looks pretty aggressive. So zero emission. So I'm assuming full EV. Nissan Leaf. I thought these were a lot smaller. I don't remember them being this big. The Nissan Skyline GT. Nismo. Very cool. This is really cool. Check this out. They're staying true to the old GT badge that you see on the Skylines. Cap, it's not a Skyline. It is a Skyline. There's no infinity in Japan. Granted, it's not your 32, 33, 34, 35, your 30. That's the skyline. See? Yeah, honestly, it's a pretty clean looking four door sedan. If I'm being honest, and the GT badge is a really nice touch. And we got the engines over here. Nismo engines, we got the S1, VR38, DETT, the 35 engine. I wonder how much it costs. Let's see. 
2,530,000 yen. It's roughly $20,000 for the engine. Not bad. If I'm being honest, I would have expected a little bit more. Let's compare that to the RB26. I don't see a price on it. But I do see a price on the S2 engine over here. Yeah. 4,133,000 yen. This is like a $35,000 RB26 with the current exchange rate. I'm probably off with those numbers. I know the exchange rate's been fluctuating a lot, especially since last time I lived in Japan. It's actually really good right now. So if you're trying to buy anything from Japan, now's the time. I think it's the lowest the yen exchange rate has been since I've been keeping track of it. It's such a sweet RB26. Ultimate baller status. It's crazy to see the inline six cost double the VR38. It's wild. And then we got the store over here, the uh, go broke section. Your R32, 33, 34 intake manifold. 214,000 yen, it's like 1,500 bucks for an intake manifold, not bad. Titanium strut bar for your 33, 34 GTRs, 170,000 yen, so $1,300. But hey, it's Nismo. R34 GTR tow hook. Exhaust surrounds, carbon fiber inlet pipe. That's pretty pricey in my opinion. 385,000 yen. It's like $3,000 for the carbon fiber uh, <laughs> air inlet pipe. But you can get the polished chrome one for half the price. Nismo hood struts. All the bits and pieces. Right now I'm really glad I don't own a Nissan. But I am going to Spoon and Mugen and ASM later in the week, so that's going to be dangerous. That's cool. Old logo plate. All your GTR badges. Get yourself a R33 GTR key for about a hundred bucks. Uncut, it's not bad. I kind of want that for my workbench though. The, what, the, the old old logo up there, yeah. 2200 yen, dibs on that. Shift knobs, oil caps, radiator caps. If you're trying to squeeze out every ounce of horsepower, I heard the Nismo spark plugs are good for about 30. <laughs> Nismo sunshade, clear side markers. These are cool for the 33 GTR. Woo, 300 bucks. Air filter. I mean, if you're living in mainland Japan and you've got a GTR, this is definitely the place to come. You can get all these good Nismo, Nismo bits. You can actually hold them, touch them, feel them, rather than buying it online. Something special about it. Let's check out the LM GT4s. I know they came out with a 10 inch variation or was it a 10.5? Yeah, 10.5 variation. So 107,800 yen for the most expensive. If you're looking at your 34 GTR fitment, 19 by nine and a half, 19 by 10 and a half. So that's like 800 bucks a wheel. It's really not that bad. $3,200 for a set of LM GT4s. And I like the matte black. And you get the racing lug nuts. But check out back here. <laughs> R32 getting worked on. Yes, as soon as it became available, I just you know, pulled together some money and just went, I'll take it. And no one I wonder what the hourly cost is to get your car worked on at Amori. <laughs> Can't be cheap, right? That's cool, the N1 Ducks for the R32. 200 bucks for the N1 Ducks, not bad. 
R33 GTR spoiler ornaments. Really, I don't know if they like lowered the prices. I feel like last time I came in here, I was like, geez, man, stuff is expensive. Or maybe because the current exchange rate. Carbon pillars. You got the side marker lights for the 32. Map sensors. I mean, they got they got a lot of stuff here. AC compressors, starters. Really cool. Really, really cool. It's like a one-stop shop. And the new Fair Lady Z getting some work done over here. Don't think those were out last time I was here. Really clean 33. I mean, 32, 33, 34. I think these guys are always here. I think they're like the, the showroom cars. Ooh, there she is. The Z-Tune. I think this is the one that was out here last time. I think it's serial number zero. So this one has never been sold, never been registered. It's just a museum timepiece. We've got a 35 getting worked on. It's like another 32 back there. How cool is it? One stop shop. You come in here. You can gawk over some JDM legends. You got some race legends. You got the store, a car meet outside. Mori Factor is always a good stop, always a good pit stop. I'm really glad we got the opportunity to come here. And how cool is it to see the Nissan R390 hanging up on the wall? Legendary race car. I used to love, love buying one of those in Gran Turismo back in the day. And that blue, you guys know what I'm talking about. Very cool. And then the Group A RV26 next to the R34 GT500 engine. Two J what? All right, not to be weird. Make sure nobody was in here, but check out the door handle to the bathroom. It's a camshaft. And then look at this. Hands down the coolest bathroom I've ever been into. How trippy is that? Just poking our head outside real quick. How cool is the Datsun 510? These are sweet. Another Mori factory. <laughs> Man, they're everywhere. Taking over. It is that weekend though. Really clean R33 GTR and nice lineup. Nice lineup of cars. You got a Super over there. I think the Super's lost. Yeah, Evo 5. I think I saw that Evo 5 at Daikoku roll through. I remember seeing a silver one earlier. Really cool plate on the Mini Cooper though. Ah, it's really cool. I wonder if they offer classes here or anything. Really clean. And then since we've been inside, we got a little lineup of Z33s. Check it out. This one's really clean. Ricardo driver's seat. Black wheels, spoiler. Very nice. And I think I saw the Evo 6 earlier uh, today too down at Daikoku previous video. All right, guys, that's going to do it for Amori Factory. As always, thanks for watching. Hit that like button. Hit that subscribe button. Stay tuned. Unfortunately, I have to go drop off the 380 RS back at the rental car company. It's been a blast driving. Who knows? I might find something cool along the way on the way back, but I got some more plans for tonight, so you definitely don't want to miss that. Stay tuned, and I'll catch you on the next one. Later.